So hello everyone and in this video I am going to show you how you can convert a sequence of frames which you can see on the left into a video file which you can see on the right. So this can be useful when you want to show your results uh, to somebody in a form of video. So you got result frame wise on every frame but you want to show it as a video quickly and so in this case this program may be helpful to you. Okay. Uh, but uh, before uh, going to that, I would also encourage you to go and watch the video I made on how you can automatically rename multiple files in a proper sequence like the one you can see on the left, it's some random name but on the right you can see it's in proper sequence daisy 001, daisy 002 and if you rename in this kind of format, it makes your uh, it makes it easier for you to write code to kind of, you know deal with this kind of uh, images either to convert in videos or to do any kind of processing so i'll provide the link for this video of how you can do that you can go and check it out but for now let's assume we have everything and let's uh, get into the code how you can convert the sequence of frames into a video so uh, <clears throat> let me just show you here this is my working directory called test project and i have a folder set of folders called data where I have this bottle folder so you can see this are uh, the images sequence of images which I want to convert in a video then this is a phone folder phone image so this is image 000 image 001 and so on and this also I want to convert in video and so on okay so this is my data for now for now so let me uh, explain you the code very quickly so I'll import the OS module, I'll import the CVT module to read all the images then I'll define a function which is going to convert frames to video but before that let's uh, let's start from the top so uh, this is the path path of the current working directory then my data directory which is the data and my data subdirectory is the folder from which I want to read image and convert those images into video so in my case the first one is a bottle so I'll show you in another another script where you can automatically read all these three files at once and automatically convert them video but for now assume that we have just one folder so this is the portal and this is the output video directory means uh, the directory where you want to save your output files okay so this two line of code will create this output video directory if it's not there in your working directory then I'll uh, I'll I'll just define and define the full path of my uh, folder from which I want to read the images. So in my case, I want to read the images from bottle. So I've just given the path current working directory plus the data directory, which is the data folder and data subdirectory, which is the bottle. This will give me a, a full path of this bottle subdirectory. Okay. If you have just an, any, um, just one folder located anywhere, simply you give here as the input frame path. And then I will use os.list directory to list out all the images present in this bottle. And because I have renamed it in no proper format, everything will be read in the list in a proper format. Let me just restart the kernel here. So I'll show you everything from scratch. Okay. And then uh, this one is I will, what I'll do is I'll just read one of the image from that input frame path so that from that I can know the height and width of the frame that I'm going to use. Uh, to convert to a video and this is this is this is this is need this is needed to be sent as a input for writing video and this is the frame per second the frame rate with which you want to save the video so let's let me give first uh, a 30 frame 25 frame per second and this is the output file name which and which is the output path which in our case is the output directory plus the video name with which you want to save it so you can give the full path here so this is the path where I want to save and this is the video file name. So I have used string formatting. What it will do is it will save the video as the name of the data subdirectory which is the bottle and the frame rate which is 25 frames per second. Then in order to write the video I need to define a codec. So this is uh, way it's, the way which it's defined in the OpenCV. So it's uh, we have to define the 4cc which is a 4 byte code. So in my case I'm using mpv4 which will save the file in uh, mp4 file. There are some other codec which you can go and check like DIVX something which saves the videos in AVI format. Then this is the size which is required to be set to the video writer which is width comma height and then I call this function convert frames to video where I pass the list of images, uh, the output file name, frame rate and the size. So let's get there. Okay, so after we have passed we'll define a video writer. 
the CV to that video writer with the output file name with the 4cc code frame rate and the size okay and for e for uh, then we loop over uh, total frames and in my case the base name is image so that's why I said if you rename in proper sequence it may be a little easier for you to code so uh, base name means you know uh, for my every uh, image sequence file this image so img and then I define the full path like uh, it will be taking image name as img minus 001 like based on the i and then I define the full image path which is os.path.join the input frame path which is defined here the input frame path uh, which points to the directory and then to the image name and then I'll what I'll do is I'll simply read out the image okay and then I'll use this video writer to write to write those image into this video file okay and if that image sequence is not present it will say that image sequence is not present okay and yeah and then once I have done writing I'll simply release the video writer I will destroy all the display window and that's all that's all the code so let's run for this first example of bottle subdirectory and let's see so let me run here and uh, you can see I have I'm displaying every frame so this shows every frame that is being read and being written uh, to the uh, video writer and you can see the output video directory was not there but it's created and inside that this uh, video will be saved okay so let's check out so now you can see I have a new folder as output video and inside this you can see the new video bottle underscore 25 FPS is created and you can open and you can see those sequence of frames have been converted into video okay that's pretty cool and uh, similarly you can save other videos by writing you know different uh, by just giving this path path to that video path to that folder where the image sequence are stored so in my case since I have organized it in a proper way you can simply change it to say phone and when you run this code you know this new folder where I was you know recording myself with the phone will be written as a video file with a frame rate of 25 per second so you can go and check it out and you can see this new video of phone has been created okay and you can obviously uh, play with the frame rate so that depends on how slowly you want to save the video you want to show to somebody say if I do it at 20 frame per second and let me just do it for you so this is just reading the file now now let's see here so this is the 20 first let's see the 25 frame per second okay the speed is fine now let's check the 20 frame per second and you can see it's a little bit slower and also you can see this this uh, here it's like for 10 second video because it's a faster video and this is 12 second video because a little slower so you can make it further slower by making it 10 or 15 okay but yeah that's how this thing work and this another script where uh, instead of say reading one by one suppose you have a you know number of folders within directory how you can do everything at once so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to add one more thing it's like I have this data directory instead of data subdirectory I'll just comment it out and then let me make a new output directory as two and first what I'll do is I'll list out all the subdirectories or folders within this data list that's what this data directory list is doing and then I'm going to simply loop over every folder and then I'm going to repeat the same thing which I discussed in the previous script so for each subdirectory okay I'm going to get this uh, list of images I'm going to get the height width I'm I can define you know frame per second FPS separately also then I'll give the output file name and then the codec and I'll call the function to convert the frames to the video okay that's pretty much simple so now if you see uh, a new output directory called output video 2 will be created and automatically all these three subfolders that you see here inside this data so all these three will be read all at once or uh, one by one automatically and everything will be saved as a three video file so let me run this second and uh, when I run this script 
So you can see it's telling reading from the subdirectory bottle and you can see on the right side uh, this sequence of frame from the bottle subdirectory being read. So once it is read, it will be automatically written as the bottle.mp4 as you can see on the console window and then the next video of the phone will be taken again it will be written and the next video will be you know read and again written so in this way you can at once write or read all the subfolders and write as an mp4 file and you can see this new folder or output video underscore 2 has been created let's check it out and all the three folders having the sequence of frames have been converted into the video files okay so this is the way you can do this uh, and i hope this video is a little bit useful to you and the codes uh, will be at the link and the course will be at my github whose link i'll provide in the description until then uh, keep learning and keep exploring neurons bye